Did you know that Russell Westbrook has been involved in tons of fights throughout his NBA career? Those fights range from players to fans, even to former teammates. Westbrook doesn't back down from anybody, and that's very clear in some of these upcoming clips. In this video, we'll be talking about just a few of the many confrontations that Westbrook has either started or gotten himself involved in just by being who he is. Now, it might go without saying that Russell Westbrook is one of the most hated players in the league right now, especially when fans are in the arena. It's like they enjoy trash-talking Westbrook because they know he gets angry easily, including this one incident in Salt Lake City while the Oklahoma City Thunder played the Utah Jazz. Westbrook was exiting the floor and making his way towards the locker room with a number of security guards around him. While he was walking off, upset and angry, a fan was shouting at him and pointing a phone maybe three inches or less away from his face. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if I was already furious about a loss or argument, and then a man shoves his phone in my face while recording me and yelling at me, I'm gonna clap back at him. And this was exactly what Westbrook chose to do. He slapped the phone that the man was holding, and the two got into an argument with one another while security stepped in and tried to make sure the incident didn't escalate any further. Now, there was a woman to the man's side who was just appalled at what she'd just seen from Westbrook, as if she didn't even see the man stick a phone in his face while screaming at him. It was honestly impressive to me just how held back Russ was despite his team just being eliminated from the playoffs for yet another year. And that wasn't the only situation between Westbrook and a Utah Jazz fan either, as the infamous screaming match between him and one fan in the stands was by far the worst confrontation. Russ was yelling to the fan that he would mess up both him and his wife while the man yelled racist and horrible things back to Westbrook, then acted as if nothing had ever happened and that the confrontation was all in good fun. But guess what? Westbrook was in yet another altercation with a fan, and this time it resulted in physical confrontation. The Thunder had just lost a playoff game, and Westbrook was holding on to the ball still. He was upset with himself, just like any other player would be, and he was about to make his way off the court and into the locker room. That was until a random man sprinted onto the court and bumped into Westbrook, screaming right in his face that his team won and the Thunder lost. Westbrook was not only startled by the guy running up to him, but he was also angry that he got so close, so he instinctively shoved the fan as hard as he could to try and get some space between the two of them before security had to step in and settle the issue from there. The NBA needs to continue to stop these fans from taking advantage of their front row seats, and there should apparently be security on standby at all times whenever Russell Westbrook is in town. You just never know what terrible things a fan's gonna yell at him. But those were just some of the smaller fights with fans in the stadium, now we're going to get into some of the best fights that he's had with other NBA players on the court, starting off with the battle he had with Jamal Murray while he was on the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Denver Nuggets were clearly going to win the ball game, and with just 30 seconds left, it was basically time to call it a day and get the game over with. The teams had a jump ball, and Westbrook lined up next to Murray right on the outside of the two players who were set to jump. Murray put his arm in front of Westbrook, and he pushed his arm away, and then fully turned and shoved him back. This turned into the two of them arguing right at each other for quite a while before players ran over to break him up, especially because nobody else wanted to step in and be handed a suspension for a game that was about to end in less than a minute. But as those two were fighting in the middle, you could see Steven Adams have to restrain Nikola Jokic from other Thunder players, specifically Westbrook because Jokic stepped in to defend Murray. But once everybody started to get split up and returned to the bench or the sideline, the cameras went over to Westbrook and saw that he was still locked in a fight with two other Nuggets players away from the main pile and the refs. Jokic and Hernan Gomez were across from Russell, maintaining a full argument with one another, and if you can read lips, you can clearly see Westbrook yell, I will fuck you up, right at Jokic. There was clearly a lot more going on in this video than it initially looks like, but the reason it all started in the first place was because of Russell. But this next fight wasn't the fault of Westbrook at all, but rather because of the infamous trash talker Patrick Beverly. The Thunder were up by 16 points with 6 minutes remaining in a game against the Los Angeles Clippers. Westbrook was sizing up a defender when he lost the handle on the basketball while driving. This caused him to turn around and try to regain possession. The only problem was that Beverly saw an opportunity for the ball and full out dove towards it mid-play. At the time, Westbrook had already regained possession, so instead of taking the ball, Beverly just ran into the legs of Russ and knocked him over. Westbrook just walked away and didn't get into any confrontation at first, but once the timeout was called, he was seen just standing next to the Clippers bench. That's when Beverly started chirping into his ear about whatever, and the two began arguing as they were walking to their own benches. 
It seemed harmless at first, but as it went on for longer, there were more teammates starting to hold both Patrick and Russ back from each other to avoid getting into a bigger fight. But the two just kept going at it, and finally, after a few minutes, the refs decided to step in and look over everything to hand out a technical foul or two. Beverly wasn't very happy with that decision, but that's just the type of player he is. As for Westbrook, at least he initially tried to stay out of the way and understand that his team is dominating, though thankfully he wasn't given any type of suspension for that argument. But those aren't the only involvements that Westbrook has had with other players. With his team down by 8 points halfway through the third quarter, he tried to give the Thunder a spark by going up high in an effort to block a shot attempt from Willie Cauley-Stein of the Sacramento Kings. While he was able to get two hands on the ball, unfortunately he hit the hands of Stein and was whistled for the hard foul. Russ went to turn and walk the other direction after landing, but Collie Stein shoved him for the foul. Even though nothing about the play was intentional from Westbrook, he was just trying to go up and make a big block for his team. Westbrook immediately turned back around and stormed towards Collie Stein, with the two getting into each other's faces before Buddy Heald ran up and was able to keep Westbrook out of the way and calmed down. Meanwhile, Steven Adams ran over to wrap up Collie Stein before he went out of control and started swinging on anybody. But when the cameras cut over to them, Collie Stein was literally using both of his arms to push off of Adams by grabbing his neck and shoulders. But Adams didn't move a muscle, nor did he get angry. Though many people see Westbrook as an instigator in this league, he was completely justified in getting mad at a random shove from somebody when his back was turned. I say good for him for backing away and not escalating the fight any more than he did when he stormed over. It could have definitely been a lot worse had he made contact with Collie Stein even if it was something small like a shove. Finally, we come to a fight that everybody should be expecting. In a game between the Golden State Warriors and the Oklahoma City Thunder, Kevin Durant had some choice words for his former teammate Russell Westbrook. There were just under 7 minutes remaining in the third quarter in this game, and the Thunder held a 17-point lead over the Warriors. Now Durant was sizing up Westbrook along the perimeter when Russ was able to strip the ball away from him and send it out of bounds. Westbrook started shaking his head no and began walking away from Durant, but Kevin wasn't done with him just yet. He started jawing off on Russell, and at first Westbrook wasn't making eye contact. But once Durant kept inching closer, the two of them bumped heads before finally getting separated by officials and other teammates who pretty much knew where this scuffle was going. The second teammates were able to get in between the two players, Durant started to clap and laugh while walking away from the pile, seemingly happy that he was able to get Russ all worked up for no reason at all. If there are any Thunder fans out there watching this video, you would know just how much Durant was trying to get underneath the skin of Westbrook for so long. It grew into such a big hatred between one another for a few years, and who knows, maybe that hatred is still there between them, and we'll never know unless they decide to speak up about it though nobody was on Durant's side in this particular argument. As a matter of fact, the entire crowd in the Oklahoma City arena continuously booed Durant every time he touched the ball, and they were ridiculously unhappy that he was getting after it against their best player, the one who he left behind to join the Warriors. Thanks everybody so much for watching, and be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Check out this next video to watch more NBA fights.